Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. We are continuing where we left off, and we're on to the next dungeon. We're basically ready to go. We just need to actually go do it. There we go. Uh, have we already gotten whatever was in here? Let's just check this real quick. Ah, hookshot needed. Okay, that's fine. There we go. All right. So let's get out of the forest. We'll just mostly ignore all of these guys. That's uh, not where we want to be. I think. I think the correct way out of the forest is this way. Yeah. There we go. So this should be back to the village. And then once we're in the village, we can just take the warp point over here somewhere. Where Where is it? There it is. Lift that up. And teleport point. Okay. So use that pop up here and let's go tackle the next dungeon the one behind the waterfall I'm hoping this one has the hook shot in it that'll mean a lot of things uh, that'll mean we'll have access to a lot of things that we don't have access to right now there we go Okay, so now we got to figure out how to get over there, because it looks, I mean, obviously you can't swim. There's a cave here. Do we need, we may need to go find, like we've opened the door, but I don't have a, I, I don't have a way to swim. So let's think about this for a minute. Um... There we go. Let's see. I, I'm fairly sure we can't swim, right? Like if I if I jump down here, it, yeah, that's kind of what I thought was gonna happen. Okay. Well, let's see. What clues have we got? Uh, what, what clues have we received? We've got a hole here. This, maybe this is where, no. No, because you can't push that. I think you probably need the ability to swim to get there, which means we need to find flippers. And as for where we get flippers? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I doubt it's the village. Mar Let's try maybe Martha's Bay. Like, there's something over here. Is this uh, shallow enough? No. Nope. Can't walk in that? Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's make use of the phone booth. Let's see what you have to say. This is... I heard from Grandma that there's something hidden behind the falls and the mountains. Yeah, I know that. I need to figure out how to actually get there. Is he going to give me the same clue? Yeah. He's just going to tell me the same thing. Unless I can get there from above? But that seems fairly unlikely. Like, what we're probably... Oh, the electric ones. They, they'll get you. Um, so where would we get flippers? If they were actually a thing. We can't swim over there. I mean, the clues we've gotten, there's a rooster in the village. Or a, a rooster near the main village. Um, actually, what we should do... That was terrible timing. Well done, self. 
Let's look at this house. Maybe this house will have flippers of some sort. Or maybe not. I mean, there is a flower thing here. The door to the cabinet is hanging off by its hinges. Nobody's used this thing in the while. Okay. Well, this is not particularly helpful then. Hmm. I mean, I suppose we could check and see if you can get to the waterfall. from up above. I kind of doubt it, though. Like, I'm fairly sure it would be flippers. But I guess we'll see. Um, Let's go look. That or some sort of, uh, you know, staircase entrance. Because we see there's a staircase right next to the entrance to it, but... It, it feels like the staircase would be here, like this staircase, but we can't get down there because we can't push the, the rock. So we got to figure out how to actually get over here, and you can't just jump. Now, you're not going to be able to fall down from that high, right? Like that, that doesn't make sense. We're definitely missing something. And I feel like it's pro These guys. <laughs> I definitely feel like we're missing the ability to swim. But I guess we'll find out. We may end up just going back to the animal village. See if maybe someone there knows anything about flippers. Which I doubt is going to happen, but like, hey, you never know. Pop up here. Uh, that's the one that leads to the chest. We want to be able to go the other way. Over here. Like, maybe a uh, door opens. Okay, maybe you, you just do one of those. Uh, so we can't go any... Oh, yeah, no, you, you can totally get there from here. Okay, cool. I'm not, comple I'm not completely dumb. We're fine. You can actually get to it from above. Look at that. So, Angler's Tunnel. Couple easy enemies. Uh, we don't need the bombs. Uh, okay, so we're definitely gonna get flippers in this dungeon, because this is too deep for me to swim. So, we don't get the hook shot here. We definitely get flippers. And then probably hook shot in the next dungeon, would be my guess. Okay, compass. Very nice. Let's look down in here. There we go. We should be able to make use of our rock's feather to jump some of these sh shorter gaps. There we go. A little small key. Those guys died easily enough. And we can use the small key right away right here. But not here. Uh, need a door to open, need a key to open that. I don't have one. So let's keep looking. Uh, also, let's get rid of magic powder out of our inventory. Let's go bombs. Magic powder is, uh, pretty situationally useful. Like, it, it, it's useful, don't get me wrong. It's just, like, you don't use it nearly as much as you're gonna end up using, like, bombs or something. Okay, we got another chest here. Small key, maybe? No, we got the owl beak. For hints. 
which we may or may not need. It just depends. I will say, having the Pegasus boots makes it much easier to get around. Like, you just move so much faster. Especially on these, like, longer straight sections. It's quite nice. Can't get over there. I think we gotta kill all the enemies down here. Which means we're gonna have to get rid of this guy. There we go. No? That didn't do the trick, huh? Oh, it's... I, I see what it's ringing at. It's ringing at that chest up there. So, how does one get to the chest? Is there... I'm fairly sure I can't just jump over that, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Bombs are a thing, though. I'm guessing here. Nope. Oh, you know what? I've got the map, though. I have the dungeon map. So we should be able to figure out via, you know, bomb process of elimination where we're supposed to blow things up. Although that doesn't seem to be super helpful. So we're missing one key. Please get off of me. Please get off of me. Okay, there we go. We've already gotten pretty much all of these. Yeah, we've done all this already. So we gotta figure out how to get through that door. Oh, that was not the right button. So where does one scrap? I feel like there's almost got to be a wall somewhere that you bomb. It's the only thing I can think of that makes any sense. I mean, and we do know that you can toss bombs uh, from up above to down below. So maybe there's something here that we can see. Like a bombable wall or something like that? Doesn't really look like it. Oh, I, I see. Wait, we just missed something obvious. So that's easy then. You can just jump across like so. I get it. We're just dumb. Okay. Do a little looking for stuff. Uh, we should just be able to blow that up. It's cracked. I'm assuming that means it, it's bombable. That's usually the case when you see things that are all cracked up like that. And there is a small key. Got it. Okay. Now we're making progress. Uh, let's try going up as well. Just to kind of see sort of what's up here. Ow. Yep. Drop a bomb right there. Very good. These guys are rude. I can't remember if you can hurt them or not. Can you kill these guys? Not with a sword. I'll take the HP, though. So now we have two keys. Don't get hit by that. There we go. And now we should be able to use our new key. Keys, plural. To open some doors. So do we have any... Un we, we don't have any unopened doors here. We gotta go this way and then that one. Okay, got it. And we've pretty much already killed all these enemies and cleared these rooms, so we know there's not an additional reward for doing so. Let's just keep it moving. There we go. Oh, that jump didn't make it. I disagree, but it's fine. Okay. So far, so good. We haven't been in here yet. I'm... 
Guardian Acorn. Okay. Um, can I get over there? Probably not. We're probably gonna need the uh, the flippers. I don't think that's a, a makeable jump. There we go. Piece of power. Open that. Um, I need this guy to not be standing there. Push this block. There we go. Very good. And the key goes down below where I can't actually get to it. Fantastic. Uh, well, the good news is there's a staircase right here. So we can get down there. Which shouldn't be too hard. Looks like we got one of these little platforming sections. I see. So the key is there. But I can't get to it. Because I can't swim. So... Okay. Uh... <laughs> This seems to present a little bit of an issue. I think I can... I, I think I see where we gotta go, though. I think if we go down this way... Yeah! Here we go. I'm hoping... I need these guys to come over here. Uh, but we should be able to just run... Like so? Oh, but it doesn't open like that. Okay. So I need a key, essentially, is what I'm seeing. But that's a thing. There's another little way that we haven't gone yet. Um... Ah, oh, when they land, they're vulnerable. Are you going to give me the flippers, or are you going to give me a key? Let's see. We are a mimic. That's so rude. Ah. You stand... Okay. So there's an order to these. Let's get rid of the enemies. So here... Not there. So, is it like this? No? No? No. So I think the order is like this one and that far one, which means I'm not gonna be able to do it because I can't swim. And you gotta be able to swim to do that. But we get another key, which we needed. Um, and then we should be able to use the key to progress back. Uh, there was that, there was a key something or other, a block, I think. Back this way, uh, quite a ways, but we'll get to it. Oh. There we go. It was back over here somewhere. There we go. Pick that up. Grab this. This feels like it could be a boss fight. Or like a mini boss fight. It's totally a mini boss fight. Oh, he turns around. There we go. So you just got to be faster. And you gain ground on him when he turns. 
Oh, he's going the other way. It's easier said than done. So you stick to the middle, so you're moving the smallest number of tiles possible. And then you let him chase. Oh, so close. There we go. I will be faster than the mini boss. Oh, he's turning around. Oh, that was close. I don't think the Pegasus boots really help here. Dude, he's just being... Now he's just being a jerk. Don't you turn around again. You... I'm supposed to get behind him. Stop changing directions, my dude. Got him. No, he's still not dusted. Hold still, will ya? Got him. The other one didn't kill him either? How much HP does this dude have? Too much, I think, is the answer. Considering you can only smack him, like, once. Oh, so close. Hold still. There we go. I think I've fought boss fights, uh, like, longer or shorter than this mini boss fight. <laughs> this guy takes forever. He's still going. It's the tankiest beetle of all time. So close. Someday. Someday. Got him. Got him again. All right, so you don't actually need to wait for him to get to a corner. If you time it right, you can get him as you go around. There we go. Finally. Not hard. Just, uh, just took a while. Okay, so now we're basically hoping that we get, uh... Okay, I see what's going on here. Gotta go quick. Hopefully this is the flippers. Hey, there we go. So now we can flip. Dive with B, press A to swim quickly. Okay. Sweet. Okay. All right, let's figure out the order here. Oh, it lights up. Well, that's convenient. There we go. It did a thing. I don't need the HP. But I will happily take this. Let's push that just to make a little shortcut. Uh, don't know if that's going to be permanent, though, now that I think about it. There we go. 50 rupees. Gets me a little... Cl okay, so you cannot swing your sword while swimming. That's good to know. Pop in here. We don't have a key. But we know where we can find one. Which was right not there. Was it over here? Yes. Well, we don't know if this is a key, but it's definitely a something. So it's here, 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 there, there. Gives us a staircase. Okay. That's a good sign. He smushed me. I got smushed. 
too soon. There we go. It was close, but we made it. We're good. And that's probably a key. That's the boss key. That's not just any key. That's the final boss key. Cool. So now we pop down here. Um, and there's our final boss, but we got to figure out how to actually get to him. So let's see. There's a locked door here. So we need to go. I mean, I think we got it pretty much figured out. Uh, although there's also a staircase somewhere, I just realized, uh, that we have not yet explored because we've got one of those underwater we got that one section with the key where it was underwater and we're like ah hey, we can't actually get to that I think that was right here here is up here somewhere yeah 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 okay so we're gonna go pick up this key There we go. I don't know if we'll actually need it, but we know that it's here, so we might as well go get it. There we go. Also, apparently you can use your sword in the water here in the 2D sections. You just can't use it in the, the top down sections. So that's a little weird, but whatever. Okay. Now that we have our key. Oh, we can also swim just right here as well. Can save ourselves a little bit of time. And we know we got to go over here. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Down we go. Yeah, maybe this is where you need the, uh, you got Cheep Cheeps from uh, Mario. More Mario enemies. There's actually a lot of Mario enemies in this game. It's almost like a weird mismatch of like a Mario and Zelda game. As I said, it was a weird era for Nintendo at that time. But now, we should be just about ready to go. This should be our boss. Down we go. Are we fighting a boss in the water? We're totally fighting a boss in the water. Okay. Anglerfish. Smack the glowing thingamabob, I bet. Bloop, bloop, glug, glug. Food, bloop. Okay. So, I see what's going on. We got this. We just gotta, just gotta go fast. We figured out his weak point. Oh, he's got, he summons little fish friends. Okay, well, they, they die easy, so. So, we've gotten quite a few hits at this point. I don't know how close to actual death he is, but. Alright, he's doing the charge attack again. There we go. That was easy. That was a super easy fight, all things considered. And now we swim down, we get our heart container. And when we go back up, I imagine the door to the instrument will be open. But that was honestly 
That was the easiest boss fight so far. Not super hard at all. And there we go, a harp. So that is our, is that our third or our fourth? That's our third dungeon. No, that's our fourth dungeon. I think. I don't know. It's all blending together. I'll check the inventory screen. <laughs> we'll find out. I think that's the fourth dungeon. Bay. So we got to go to the bay. Okay, we know where the bay is. Your road goes into the bay. That's a piece of cake. That one will be easy to find. We've already been there. Okay, so just checking. Yeah, we've got four. We have four of the eight instruments completed. That seems like a great place to leave it off for today. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.